You can see that we have different prices for different levels. I can buy one and my money account goes down, but I can't buy the second one because I don't have enough money. So I'm gonna increase my money and I can buy it. I can also press to enter a certain level. If I close and start again, the levels are saved. I don't have to buy them again. I can press and I go to that specific level. Perfect. Hi, I'm Ricky. Today I'll show you how to make a levels shop in Unity. This is going to be a very beginner-friendly tutorial, and if you want to download the entire project, there's a GitHub repository, link in the description. Also, this specific video has been requested by someone, so hello. Alright, so let's start. As you can see, I only have a main camera right now, and I've renamed my scene as 00.shop. Let's make a panel to hold our shop UI. And inside of it, let's make another panel to hold our level. In here we want a text and a button. You can use regular text if you want to, but I'm gonna use Text Mesh Pro. We're gonna use this text to show the level's name, and we're gonna use this button to either buy or enter the level. If you want to, you can use an image instead of a text to show the level's thumbnail. All right, so that's the very basic of the UI. Now let's select our level in shop panel, and let's make another new component and I'll call it level shop. In here, let's make a public void function to call when we press the button. And I've called it on level button press. In here, we want to check whether the level is unlocked. So let's make a Boolean value called is level unlocked. If it's unlocked, then we enter the level. If not, we try to buy it. Let's worry about entering a level first. To enter a level, what we're gonna do is simply load another scene. So let's go back to Unity, and in your scenes folder, let's make a new scene. Let's then open the build settings. You can also do this with Ctrl Shift B, and let's check and drop our scenes. Make sure that the shop is the first element in the list with the first element having an index of 0, while the level I want to load, so Green Hill, has an index of 1. Let's close this, and let's go back to the script. To handle scenes, we have to import from the scene management library. We then call scenemanager.loadScene, and in here, as a parameter, we want to pass in either the name of the scene or the index of the scene. Let's go with the index. If you remember, Green Hill has an index of 1. So if you want to load Green Hill, we just say 1. Of course, we want to be able to load multiple scenes, so instead, let's make a new variable. Great, now let's go back to Unity. In here, select the Level button, and let's add a new event. Let's drag in the Level and Shop panel, and let's call Level Shop on Level button press. Now let's select our level in shop panel, and you can see that we have is level unlocked and index of scene to load. Let's set the index to 1, and let's hit play. You can see that right now the button doesn't do anything, but if we set is level unlocked to true, we load the green hill. Great! Now let's add a way to buy the level. To buy a level, we probably want to handle money as well, so let's make a script to handle money. Let's make a new empty game object to handle money. And let's make another new component called Player Money. In here, we want an int value to hold our money and a function that tries to remove some money. This function is a public bool where the bool tells us whether the transaction was successful or not. The parameter is asking us how much money we should remove, so, first we check whether our money is equal or major to the money I want to remove. If it's so, we do remove the money and we return true. Else, if we don't have enough money, we return false. Finally, let's go back to level shop, and in here, to try and buy a level, we want to call the player money and call that function that we just made. To do that, we need a reference to player money and normally I will make a singleton, but let's just use find object of type. 
Remember that we need a parameter in try to remove money telling us how much is the price. So let's make a new int value telling us how much the level costs. If this function returns true, it means that we have bought the level. So now we set is level unlocked to true. Let's go back to Unity. Let's set player money to say five. And let's set the level in shop panel. Here we have the new value level cost. Let's set it to one. Let's select the player money and hit play. Right now I have five amount of money, but if I press the button, it goes down to four. And if I press again, I go to the next level. Now we just need a way to save it so that the next time we play, the levels, if we have bottom, they are already unlocked. So let's go back to the script. And to save data, we use something called the player prefs. Player prefs can save certain type of values, so the next time we play, they are already there. We want to save is level unlocked with these player prefs, but player prefs don't allow for boolean. They do allow for int values though, so we can use an int and then convert it to a boolean. With playerprefs.setInt, we set the value of type int. Inside of it, we have to pass two values. One is a string value that acts as a unique key to the value that you want to save. So let's say that the unique key is pref level plus the level index that we want to save. The second value is the amount of the value that we want to save. In this case, let's set it to 1. By default, if we try to read a value that hasn't been saved yet, that value is 0. So if we set it to 1 and we try to read it and it's 1, then we know that we saved it and we know that we have already bought the item. Then let's add an awake method and let's check whether this player pref has a value of 1. Notice that in this case we say get int instead of set int. As a parameter, we only have to pass in the key of the value that you want to get, and the function itself is going to return us the value that we have saved. So when we save that value, this becomes true. And if it's true, then it means the level is unlocked, so we say is unlocked equals true. All right, let's go for a final test. Five amounts of money, press the button, decreases by one, press again, and I'll load the next level. If I close and play again, as soon as I touch it, I load the next level. I don't have to buy it again. Perfect. All right, so that's the very essential part of our level shop system. Now let's show the player what is actually happening. Let's make it so that the button text shows us whether the level has been unlocked already. So let's go back to the script. And let's add a reference to the button text. In my case, I'm using TextMesh Pro, so I'm gonna import from TM Pro. Then on awake, if the level has been unlocked, we set that button text to say enter level. We change the text to say how much money it costs. We also want to update the text when we buy the level. So right here. Back to Unity, let's go in our shop panel and let's add the reference of the level button text. Hit play, now it shows the amount of money required. I buy it, it says enter level. And if I restart, it also shows enter level. All right, and now just to show you how easy it is to make another scene level, I just select this and duplicate it and move it down. I'm gonna change this to say level name two. And now if we select the panel that we duplicated, we can change the price and change the scene to load. Now, of course, to do that, we also want to make another scene. And make sure the new scene is in index 2. Let's clear all the player prefs. Let's select the player. Right now I have 5 money. Hit play. You can see that we have different prices for different levels. I can buy one and my money account goes down. But I can't buy the second one because I don't have enough money. So I'm going to increase my money and I can buy it. I can also press to enter a certain level. If I close and start again, the levels are saved. I don't have to buy them again. I can press and I go to that specific level. Perfect. All right, so that's the very basic idea of a level shop system. Of course, graphics wise, this is extremely ugly, but you get the idea of how the system works. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts about the code or any suggestion about the next topic that you'd like me to see, do tell me in the comments. If you like this content and you want more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.